Hello, I'm Steve Lipton, and this is a series of advanced topics to extend my LinkedIn Learning course, SAP Business One Reporting and Customization. We're trying to make a printed version of this production report to include the routings on them. This video requires some knowledge of SQL, so if you're rusty on SQL, you might want to check out my course, SAP Business One Reporting and Customization, in the LinkedIn Learning Library. Now, in the last video, we had a query that doesn't want to work, and I go ahead and execute it again. You can see that we get no data found as a result of selection criteria. And let's talk about why a little more. The problem here is this bit right there. If we have a production order like the one we have here that has no routing on it, then it doesn't have any value here. And by the way that joins work, you got to have a value here. Otherwise, you don't have a value for the row. So I got to find a way that this is independent of the joins. And that's where you start finding subqueries come in handy because if it doesn't exist, it'll just give a null. Now, here's what you do with a subquery. A subquery is just a query that takes up one part of a select, let's say here with this item code, and it'll only return one piece of data. If that piece of data happens to not exist, it's just going to be blank and null. So you've got a good way of getting around this problem. So here, let's fix up this report a little bit and put in a subquery. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this here. So I'm going to get rid of all my T2s on my query. And I'm also going to get rid of the join. Then I've got right here a perfectly good set of criterion. So I'm going to hold on to my criteria that I had on the on. And I'm going to go ahead and cut those for now because I'm moving to somewhere else. Now you'll see I've got a comma up here, which of course would cause problems. I can go ahead and get rid of the comma, and we can see that this is going to run fine now, just like it did before. I'm going to put in the comma now. Let's see what happens now. We're going to put in here a set of parentheses, so I can put my select in here. And I put a select, and a subquery can only be one item. So I'm very careful about which item I'm going to use. I'm going to call this T2 like we did before, and I'm going to use name because I just want to see the name of the stage, which is my description of the stage. And then after that, I'll put a from. I'm going to be using WOR4 again, which is the routing. We'll make that T2. Then we're going to put in a where. Our where, I can paste back in here, is the doc entry will match and the stage ID will match. Okay, I can go ahead and try this. That works great. Now look what happens. We've got just the lines we want. And you'll notice over here, we've got a blank column that doesn't have anything in here. And just so that we can make sure we can see that blank column, I'm going to put in routing stage. And there you go. Now you can see the routing stage and it's blank. Now I change this to 156 and execute. And now I've got a routing stage here and I can actually see my components here. Now subqueries like this are great when you need to look up information, a join just doesn't do very well. They are known also to be faster than joining as well. Of course, with that advantage is you can see that your code is going to get very verbose very quickly. I like to get familiar with my files like this, SQL, before I go into Crystal Reports. I get a better sense of how the data will work, which is a bit more opaque in Crystal. But I'm ready to try some Crystal Report in my next video. If you want to know about SQL, Crystal Reports, and more Business One features, I do suggest checking out all my SAP Business One courses in the LinkedIn Learning Library.